Ladies and gentlemen, we got something incredible today. Um, Joe Biden's America. Um, I don't feel too great about it. You know, people are just getting let off the hook and whatnot. But we just want to show you some shit that we saw the other day. And hopefully you've seen it. But truth and opinion show, man, we about to get into it. Exactly. Is, is there an amendment that protects your right to steal something? Is, is that what people are invoking, or is, is this reparations? What, what, what are we doing here? <laughs> this better not be reparations. Out of all the homies that got locked up for stealing candy bars back in the day, now you can just wear a COVID mask and get right, right into a store, anywhere, really. Dude, I, uh, I I remember I was four years old and my older brother stole a pack of juicy fruit. Mm. And you and can't deny them when we got home. When we got home, he gave me a juicy fruit and he gave my other brother a juicy fruit. My mom's like, Where'd you guys get gum? I didn't buy you guys gum. And she beat the brakes out of mm-hmm. all of us. Like, mm-hmm. man, I didn't even steal the gum. Mm-hmm. He was aiding and abetting, right though. He was enjoying yeah, the, that's the, true. the fruits of the I was the benefiting from his risk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, I think there's a lot of beatings that need to be handed out while, <laughs> while they're young to prevent this. Because, like, I ain't stealing shit. The lack of ass whoopings <laughs> has brought this scene today, to be honest. Because I only got a few growing up, but them few was enough for me to keep my ass out of right. the street when cars was coming, not to throw shit at windows. To keep my hands to myself to stop fighting people. We got a show for y'all. Roll a clip. All right, let's go. Here we go. Oh, bro, he got bottle Look. service for real. Look at this, bro. He's duffel bagging it. It was two of them. That's crazy, bro. Look at all the liquor spilled. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna pause you real it. quick. You heard it? All right. <laughs> she said, "Y'all been right. to jail." <laughs> <laughs> they probably didn't. They probably got away with it, to be honest. That bro, it's in California. Um, Remember I told you if it's under nine ninety nine, they get off just fine. I told you, bro. Under a thousand dollars, they all free. If they really want some alcohol. The sales are right there, like twenty four ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine. But lights practically free. They could have got some of that. Ain't nobody trying to drink that Shit. tranny fluid. What gets me is I know they're not hurting for money. Dude got on some some Jordan fives. Yeah, they, they, they dripped out. You know what I'm saying? They, they're not hurting for money. This is just a, a grab and go. This is taking mm-hmm. advantage of the system to the fullest. But yeah, let's get let's get back and finish off this clip. There's about another 20 seconds left. Jeez. Let's see what they get into. Oh, oh man. Oh, he out. He gone. What is, that, like a, is that a Safeway? What is this? Probably like a. Uh, Bro, they didn't even like take no Safeway. craft beer. Nah, they didn't take bro. the craft beer. They left it, man. They, ran out they with, wanted the bottles. Uh, they ran out with well, that's big bottles. They ran out with big bottles. All y'all out but there man, looting and stealing and shit are ignorant to the fullest extent. Ignorant. Now, I'm going to say what I said a long time ago. Like 2010, I said this. Actually, like 2005, I said this. I said, all y'all niggas out there that's doing shit like this is making it hard for us normal niggas that want to raise our family, making it way harder for us out here just to be just to be normal, just to live. Because y'all out there doing that shit, they automatically going to assume I'm going to be the one to do that shit. Like, that's crazy, bro. Even whether it be a, right. whether it be Mexicans, Asians, anybody, the whole run of the mill of y'all out there running and, and looting and shit is is dumb. And you killing it for everybody. Wait till that shit closed and you can't buy nothing in FEMA at your doorstep. Talking about, hey, I've got a new vaccine for you. Oh, here's your government card. Uh, ooh, free housing. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, 1.75 off of your uh, mortgage loan. <laughs> hey, the gift that get, uh, keeps on giving, you know what I'm saying? You're going to mm-hmm. be guilty by association, just like you said. Yeah. You're going to be walking to the liquor store and I'm like, oh, we got, we got a runner. He's but, not going to pay for his groceries. But, but. <laughs> But in in reality, in California, they're not locking anybody up. They're just le- they're just releasing people. So I mean, if they can get away with it, if I was just some hood rat going out there, knowing that I can go and just steal shit whenever I wanted to, I would probably do it. You know, Man. I would probably would. If I was a de- degenerate, oh, I ain't gonna go to jail. Hell, hey, let's go get some bottles. I got two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars in my pocket right now. But fuck it, let's just go steal it. What are they gonna do? But, this is, the mindset this is this how generation. bad it is. This is. Yeah, this is how bad it is in California, though. This to put it in perspective, these guys could take this alcohol, literally walk out. No one's really gonna stop them. They could pull their pants down, take a shit in the street. No one's gonna stop them, and then they could walk into the women's bathroom, and yeah. no one's gonna stop. No them. one's gonna stop them, and they can sit there and drink their alcohol in a woman's bathroom, shitty. 
and no one's gonna stop them. Man, stop sh- uh, stealing shit. Minimum wage in California is like seventeen dollars right now. You ain't gotta be stealing shit. Oh, when they not even drug testing, go get a job. Go get a job, man. Be a be a be a productive member of society. Don't be a shit dirt bag like these other guys out here just stealing shit. Yeah, I said it. Shit dirt bag. Garbage. This is what uh, going to get milk looks like this, these days. But they got the kids doing it too, though, bro. It's, it's I know. little ass kids doing it. And it's like, bruh, where are the doctors and the lawyers? And the, nah, I want to be viral. That's the dream nowadays. It's viral, bruh. I need those clicks. I need the clicks. Mm-hmm. Ain't enough clicks in the world, bruh. I don't care how much money you give me. You're not about to make me a dumbass be out here stealing shit. But, um,. What bottles were they grabbing? I could, I didn't. Tell, was it Jaeger? No. I, psh, bro, glass bottles. Clang, 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 clang. Big bottles. You <laughs> could tell. Even had the heavy set girl in the beginning sitting there with her phone. So, look at, look at, look at. Th- throw something Dude. at their ass. Call the cops. And they, they had the car out there ready. So I'm pretty sure that they're gonna throw the bag in the back of the car and all the bottles are gonna break. I'll laugh my ass. Nah, bro. They probably could have just walked down the street with the shit. Nobody would have done anything. Nobody does anything. No. About it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some more ignorance to show you, and I'm just gonna get right into it. There's no need to even explain it. You know how the world is going. This is Joe Biden's America. Advo and Nazi reacts. This is some crazy shit going on. Just call it like it is. Just more ignorance, bro. Okay, home. He's walking in. Okay. Hey, Helicom. Whoa, oh, going deep. They all walked in. Look, dude in the gray started skipping to it. Oh, they, oh they knew the exact God, rack bro. they wanted. Oh, all the jackets. Seriously, Man, they're their size, bro? Uh... <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> they, they, they... <laughs> no. Man, it, it must it, be cold right now. The crazy part Isn't it is... summer when you got them jackets? But the crazy part is, bro, what? they all hit one section, though. They all went to one section of the store. They all knew what they was going in there for anyway. Where was this at? Is this in California, too? Again? I don't know where this is at, but there was a... It would have to be a Democrat-ran It must be cold because they all needed a bunch of jackets, it seemed like. And yeah, he walked in was with it, a tank top. Were those uh, bomber jackets? Yeah. He's like, we ain't going to be cold no more. Probably New York. I'm thinking it's not that cold in Cali right now, so maybe New York or something. But, bro, get a job, please. Hey, they came in. They came in with no no masks, nothing. They were mm. like, hey, they ain't gonna stop us. I'm gonna go in. We gonna grab it what is, we want. What we're just gonna is. walk out. I already knew what the plan was from the get go. I can already tell because I know my people. They literally walked in and was like, yeah, they got these things on sale, but we don't really give a shit. We just gonna walk in there and get them. Ain't nobody gonna go to jail today. All right, then fuck it. Let's just go. One dude, the last dude walked in. He was the last one. All right, hold up. Put that shit out and he walked out there. Smelling straight like some stank-ass weed the entire time through the whole store. But where the clerk so, at? For real, they, uh, they took like a whole two racks, a rack. And Come it on, seems... So I mean, you could, you could see they it, had it happen. It was, it's like hyenas yeah, so, after the prowl. Like they all yep. seen the prey. The other little scavengers came around the back. The dude in the, in the slacks in the back, he barely even grabbed anything. Like he wasn't even ready. He did. De- he should have went over to the belt section hey, the, and grabbed the belt. The first he, dude came out like running backs, like they're they're carrying the rock. Look, he, oh, oh, get out, get out. He got all of the same stumbling, color stumbling. jacket, bro. All blue, all of the same color. That's so, it. So you got a small, a large, a medium, and extra, a medium. I can't really make out the. I think it says they're those are fifty dollar jackets. So if they're fifty dollars in the store, how much you think they're gonna get for them on the street? Like a, a twenty, like a dub? Nah, bro, they ain't going back on the street. That's going in the in the wardrobe. Like you said, it's cold the, the, out here, homie. You said, I need, I they need. They even check the sizes. I need Unless, uh, five I guess all blue bomber jackets. <laughs> well, for every day of the week, in the two orange for Saturday <laughs> and Sunday. You I, see the dude ran out. I with stay the two fresh, huh? He, <laughs> he says I stay fresh. He said I got a new jacket every day. Can you imagine watching them run out with all those jackets and you're in line about to pay for it? (laughs) All right. So let me just 30 year old me. Hell no. 18 year old me would probably be right there along with him. Oh, shit. Right. Stop stealing shit. Stop. Pay for it. Basically. Be a member of society. Stop stealing shit. So it's like, how do you get to a point to where Walmart says, fuck this, I'm out. Yeah, you gotta be bad if Walmart's out. Everybody. I'm just saying. 
that's what I'm saying. Like for Walmart to leave, that's how you know it's bad. There's a Walmart everywhere. Some towns only I mean, have a Walmart. Right. And the just looking at who is it, the mayor, Brandon Johnson? Is that his name? I'm 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 assuming so. I don't believe so, yeah, because uh <laughs> left eye, left foot's out. Yeah, so like that that guy right there is I you like can tell why thing. people are leaving and the, the whole Chicago's fucked up because that dude's an idiot. Mm-hmm. It's like don't blame the children for what they're doing. No, they need those repercussions. Yeah. They need to be accountable. Yeah. If you let a if you let a kid get away with something, they're gonna keep doing it. And then what's gonna happen? They're gonna be adults, they're gonna keep doing it. And then you're gonna have shit like this going on nonstop because hey, no one's told me it's bad. What happens to the welfare to work okay. program? Yeah, they they said I'm not uh, I shouldn't be demonized, so I'm gonna keep doing it. It's, How do you learn? You don't. Yeah, if you don't have a repercussion for doing something bad, then you're just gonna keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? Basically, if you got the mayor and got you back, hey, you're young, you're black, you're uh, yeah. go ahead, reparations. Ah, are you fucking serious? We have there is so just looking at the mayor, bro. You're black. You became the mayor of a big ass city. That should show you that oppression's over. What the fuck you stealing for? The mayor is definitely eating something tonight. Yeah, you know that's true. His 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 constituents are definitely got a meal tonight, but now all their stores are closed. What about the regular person? Is is the mayor going out of his pocket and feeding all of these young, deprived Americans in Chicago? I, no, just another. I want to say bro. that I seen. Um, I want to say I seen like a, a a news conference or something where they're out there saying that we deserve businesses and we deserve this and we deserve that i'm now like if you keep burning the motherfuckers yeah. down yeah what businesses want to go there if if this is the outcome that you're going to steal Mm-mm. their merchandise you're going to do this you're going to do that there's no point for business Mm-mm. if if you do the right thing and you sh- prove that you know a business can open up there and not be oh, fuck, fucked with if basically that- maybe they'll come back but it, if this is what they're signing up for no one's going to sign up for that this bad business. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like, that's what it is. It's bad business. It, it just uh, and that's how you know there's a lot of people who don't know shit about uh, business. Like if you want to uh, open a business and run a business, you're not gonna put it in an area where there's high crime and shit. If you're gonna have a, if it's not an online business, I'm not gonna open up a mex like a a food restaurant with multicultural foods and shit like barbecue mexican food asian food i'm not gonna put that out there in the hood just for them to go and rob my shit they're not gonna care that the food is good it's an easy lick for a company and walmart's an easy lick Uh, well i'm saying this it's 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 called it's called a business not a charity Mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen this is a perfect example of your second amendment rights now Man over here getting his ass beat, getting his ass beat. Who pulled the blicky down? He got the sticky out. What the hell? That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. I love it. I don't know what the context is. But I just know he pulled no, the I don't blicky know either. and it got sticky. That's all. I'll drop a little nazi disclaimer here. We don't know what's going on. Mm-mm. What uh, prompted this situation. Yeah, I've got no but idea. But the outcome is pretty hilarious to me. Mm-hmm. All right. Hopefully no one was harmed after this clip ends, but... Let's, let's let the clip speak for itself. Let's get into it. That's his disclaimer right, right there. All right, it's two on one, Damn. two young ones versus an old man. Yeah, he took his hat off. Okay, okay they, they're on. They're beating him. Oh, Ooh. oh, what's going on? He's running. Got the blitty. Oh, oh, Trumpet hole fifty. Oh. Dirty Harry. He's like. <laughs> he said, "Do you feel lucky, bro? Do you? Hey, you, oh, you, you, you hear the people in the background? Rewind it real quick. You hear the people in the background? They wasn't doing nothing, laughing. Ah uh-huh, ha! Look at him getting his ass beat. Ah uh-huh. ha! And then as soon as he went, call an ambulance, but not for me. As soon as he pulled out the not exactly. for me, bro, everybody wanted. Oh my God, he has a gun. Well, good for you, yeah, Uncle George. You you pulled the blicky out, and it got sticky. I'm glad. And he went Clint Eastwood on him. Right, let's go. Let's play the game. So. Mm-hmm. He's he's trying to hold him off, and I don't even know what's going on. I don't know. Maybe he says. I don't something, know either. But he looked like he is. He security probably says something to be on. Old people be talking shit. <laughs> you little dumb oh. whippersnappers. Yeah. You know, and then they they ran up on him, but he pulled the blicky out. Mm. But at yeah. this, but at the he just time, wanted them off. He 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 was. I don't think he had the intent of shooting. If they probably would have kept coming at him, he might have shot. But he was just trying to scare them away. 
and he could tell. He just walked up and then they ran and he he was like, all right, now you get my hat, go on about my business. And that's why I think. But like, why? Go it ahead. was okay for the for him to get jumped and the the people recording were like, oh, haha, you know. And then when he went to really defend himself, then there was mm-hmm. an issue. Call call the police, all in that. Come on, man. But I mean, they, that's probably a good idea though, because if he did shoot, you would want someone already coming no, that way. But I'm not hoping for homeboy to shoot him. But at the same time, no. it's a deterrent, and you can see that right. he had good controlled aggression throughout him getting his ass beat. Because if he wanted to, he could have just pop, pop. He could have, but he didn't. He let him walk off. And like you said, he picked his hat back up. So good on him for having his Second Amendment right and for not popping him two low dumbasses, beating him up. Like I said, I don't know nothing about the context. But if it takes two of y'all weak-ass dudes and you couldn't even knock his old ass down and then you run when he pull his stick out, I, I don't necessarily need any context. Because the crowd in the video lets me know some context. That they didn't give a shit until he pulled the gun out. I guarantee you, though, he was talking some shit before they, they did that. I mean, <laughs> no way. 2023. It looks, like, it looks like that. He probably was saying something, you know, get out of my face, you little whippersnappers, y'all. I mean, and shit. Da, da, da. And it was like, oh, what you want, some old man? And then, you know, ran up on him. But hey, like I said, right. two way all day. If you got the blicky. The situation gets sticky. Self-defense. Yeah, sure. he pulled out that Denzel Washington. He pulled out the equalizer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> hey, he did make it equal. You can see minus one. Homeboy jetted. Play it again. You see how quick he ran? You don't even see him when the video <laughs> playing for a third time, huh? Uh, let me go. Let's go back from the beginning. From the top. I just want to see Homeboy run off. Cause look, <laughs> he was tussling with the first one. The second one came up with well, a side bust. They didn't. They didn't really try to injure the him. Like, I don't know what was going on. That man took off. Look, boom! Look. They out now. They saying no, no, mm. no. Please don't shoot him after you were getting your ass beat. Yeah. How does that work, bro? It really. It honestly looks like he's about to go back to his hot dog stand or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> but he, you, he, he. If you look at his belt, he had a whole bunch of stuff on his belt. He had his pants, his pocket protector, his holster. He probably has some Mentos and shit in his pocket. Like that old dude wasn't. He he just he just out probably mind his old midness or was saying the wrong thing. Got ran up on and he pulled the blicky and he got sticky. First dude, he stuck and man took the hell off. He probably still ain't called his homie. I don't know the the situation like I said before, but like growing up in in Stockton, California. Uh, people who would rob people they knew the day that people would cash their checks and they would always wait for the people who cash their checks late at night mm-hmm. and they'd let them they, they'd watch they'd watch them cash their checks and when they would hit the corner or if they didn't go back to a car they got got like mm-hmm. just like that that's how the licks was and they, there. they always targeted the older people you know people that they're, they're not going to put up a fight mm-hmm. I'm just glad it, it ended the way it did this. Yeah, I'm glad nobody. No, got no, shot. no one got hurt. I'm glad nobody got yeah. shot. They learned that that should that should you know, FAFO of the day right there. You didn't fuck around and found out. Almost found out though. That's a almost fuck around and found out because nobody got shot. Yeah. Now the initial. The more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. Exactly. Maybe they'll learn. Maybe they won't. But it's whatever, man. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. Stop robbing people. Leave old people alone. I'm going to just assume that old people was packing now watching this video.